I hate Doomsday. Welcome to Grumble Goat. My name is Matt Labodka, and this is a show about all the small things that drive me insane. Let's grumble. In a bizarre series of unforeseen circumstances, humanity has survived the eclipse of 2024. Despite the moon's assault on our planet, despite the heavens blotting out our sun, somehow we have survived another day. When so many claimed we would not, Facebook and 4chan were warning us that nobody would survive the eclipse of 2024. And yet, here we are still. How is it that every time something happens in the sky, as predicted and formulaic and mathematically expected it is, it stirs up the wild, crazy notion that the end is nigh? And if it's not a total eclipse of the sun, then the hail bob comet is coming and it will take us all. The Aztec calendar ended on 2012. Not that the Aztecs had a need of a calendar that went beyond 2012, but nonetheless, their calendar ended. And so we decided that must be the end of the world. Y2K, computers are new and strange and oh no, they don't know what year it is. Planes are gonna fall from the sky. The hubris of man has done us in, except it was fine. A blood moon in the night is not some elvish enchantment. It's just some refraction of solar light through our atmosphere. The end is not coming. There is no deep meaning underneath all of this. But every earthquake, every hurricane, every different color moon, heck, if a rain cloud eclipses the sun, we got Chicken Little screaming about the sky falling. There's nothing special here. We want, as a species, so hard to believe that there's some deeper meaning. The end is not nigh. I'm sorry, but you're stuck here with the rest of us. It's Monday. We're going to work. And you're still here in traffic, stuck with us until the sun explodes. And that one, well, that, okay, that is the doomsday. But there's not going to be a sign for that. God's not going to hire a skywriter to say something about that. It's just going to happen. The, the only warning is going to be, you're going to have about three seconds to think, is it a little hot today? You're not going to have time to think, is this the prophesized golden hour? Oh, I hate doomsday prophecies, and that's the grumble. Grumble, 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 grumble. What? Grumble, 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 grumble. What's got your goat? For the latter half of the show, we'll bring in my better half, Veronique, for an unpretentious look and a segment we call... What's got your goat? Veronique, we made it. Where? We did it. We made it. This is the post-eclipse of 2024 Whoa. world. Whoa. And we're here. Yes. We did it. I'm here. Oh, yep. Are you here? I'm, that's what I meant by we. Here. Like sort of both of us here. We survived. We did. Wow. Yeah. Where were you? On the eclipse of 2024. Well, I was downtown. You were downtown. Yeah, I was. I, well, I know scene. where you were. I was with you. I know. Well, I'm setting the scene. Set the scene. I was downtown. Mm -hmm. But before we went downtown, we got donuts. We did. We got the unofficial eclipse donut from <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts. They have a munchkin that lives inside another donut that uh -huh. they painted yellow. That is the eclipse donut. It also subs in for the Halloween donut with the spider on top. Right. You may remember. The, yeah, it looked like it looked Anyway, like then we met a cat. Ooh, oh, Ziggy, I love the kitty. Oh, right, the cat. And I cried a little. Okay, I'm not going to cry in you this did episode. Cry. Picture the cat. Picture, picture that the beautiful, cat. handsome, long noodle cat. It was the paws. It was, it was the, paw. the paws. That's Once the paws were on my neck, I was like, <laughs> All right, we won't go there. We went on the train. We went downtown. This is a heck of an eclipse day. That's right, okay. it was. And then we get off the train and we walk towards the secret rooftop. Yeah, we went toward the secret rooftop. Secret rooftop, it's above City Winery. Well, if you tell everybody where it is, then it's, it's not secret. Okay, Shh. we can't tell you where the secret spot can't was, tell you. It's but super it's secret. a rooftop by 14th Street by the pier but that's <laughs> you just described it. exactly where it is the cat's <laughs> out of the bag now we got our glasses and we put them on and i said i can't see anything <laughs> and you said look at the sun and i was like but i can't see it and you were like look up and i was like but i can't see anything people everywhere heard me say all this stuff anyway i look up and i said Oh, <laughs> and you were like yeah that's the point of the glasses it blocks out all of the sun well, it blocks out all the light, except this. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it blocks out all the light. 
We shared our donuts. Mm -hmm. We put our glasses on and we looked up at the sun. Yeah. Yeah. Look it was right at that. Song. It was very cool. It was cool. You know, I'm happy I did it. Okay, good. Yeah, we got about 80 <laughs> percent coverage, so nothing yeah. special over here in New York City. Nothing special. But it's nice. You got a little dim, and uh, it was just cool to experience. And you you looked up with the glasses on, and you could see that the moon was in front of the sun, and it was great. Very cool. Yeah. And we we spent too long with the cat, so we were running late to the <laughs> eclipse. Yeah, so that was really fun. You know, people are kind of wild with this eclipse thing. What do you mean? Well, I don't care about space. <laughs> you know, I'm very happy on this planet yeah. with the things that I have around me, my loved ones here. And there's just so much going on down here. Right. The what highlight for you that day was the cat. Yo, yeah. A hundred percent was meeting Ziggy. Oh, yeah. We got to set up a play date. Anyway. You know, I but but it gave me an appreciation for the people, you know, all the research that these people do about the sky and the fact that our planet just kind of spins all the time and goes around an axis and yeah. just keeps spinning is really a miracle within itself. It's wild that we're not all dizzy and falling down all the time. I know, vomit everywhere. Ugh. No way. So it's it's it is really incredible, but like I don't really care. Oh. Did you when now when the moon was covering the sun? Yeah. Did you get the impending sense of doom? No, I was just kind of staring up at the sky. Right. Yeah. 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 So so nowhere in your mind did you think this is the end of the world? No, but if I were in Buffalo and I wasn't aware that there was an eclipse. Uh -huh. if, if everyone wasn't talking about if it. If somehow just, you were in Buffalo, if somehow you were under the path of totality. That's right. And nobody, nobody around you no mentioned it. No one knew what this w was happening. I think the whole path of totality was just filled with people. <laughs> like everybody clamored under the moon to see the path of totality. Well, here's my question. Since the dawn of time, since we figured out math on the planet. Right. The dawn of time and math, <laughs> same thing. Have people always congregated towards an eclipse? Because you said the eclipse is math. So we yeah. know exactly when the next one's going to be. Yeah. So were people like traveling from ships to see eclipses? Like were there like pirates or like whoever did the math? Pirates, pirates in their heart. <laughs> They're looking for gold. But the greatest golden treasure of all is the sun. Yeah, and that's the thing. If they were just like pirating out in the sea, just having a grand old time, being pirates, and mm -hmm. they're like, yar har har, we got- <laughs> Yar har har. Yar har har. <laughs> Famously, that's what pirates say, yar har har. <laughs> we have this treasure and it's ours. Hi, <laughs> yar har har. Yeah, yar. the real treasure is the sea. The sea. Would the pirates think an eclipse is going on or would they just think that clouds went over the sun? Pirates and sailors in general are famously superstitious. Oh, because of the mermaids. <laughs> yeah, I've heard about those. The, the mermaids and St. Elmo's Fire and Davy Jones Locker. Um, David Jones. They're famously superstitious about everything. Oh, well, cats should were like on ships. Like cats were famously on ships. Cats they are were, good luck. Yeah, well, they're sailors. <laughs> cats are natural born sailors. <laughs> That's right. Sure. That's right. But it, no, if an eclipse happened while they were at sea, they'd be thinking, oh, an eclipse. No, -uh, I yeah. don't think that they knew that. You don't think they knew no, that? No, I don't know. You don't know. think pirates in the 17th century knew about eclipses? Well, do you think they told their pirate friends and they all witnessed it all out on the ocean they together? All yeah, they, they, all the pirates <laughs> gathered. Yeah, they all came together Chartuga. to go, huh? And then what anyway, could they see? No impending sense of doom. Um, no, I didn't have any. Okay, because some people were posting on Facebook that it was the end of the world. I thought we did this already. What do you mean? I thought Y2K happened <laughs> and 2000 happened. Y2K and 2000 happened. Yeah. 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 Is that the same one? It's the same one. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, there was I mean, there were multiple one. doomsday predictions in 2012. Like 2012, right? With the Mayan calendar. Right. The Mayan calendar. The Aztec calendar. Aztec calendar. Yeah, the Aztec, Aztec calendar. Aztec calendar. Yeah. Like, yeah well, the calendar ended and life as we knew it ended. Yeah. yeah which I feel like it would just end in 2024. Not that makes more sense. 2012, yeah. Why? 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 It's just what? longer. You know, it's like it's just longer. <laughs> oh, Aztec, they, they missed a decimal point and it was supposed to be 2024. <laughs> That's right. This year. Yeah. Aztec calendar is ending again. This is yeah. the year we die. But it, it didn't happen. We're still here. So the world ended in 2000, you said. <laughs> yeah. And it ended in 2012. Yeah. This and it's going to end in 2024. It ended with the eclipse. Yeah. Why does the world keep ending? You know, that's. Um, 
mm, I'm not, mm, I'm not, mm, mm. Mm. I'm not exactly sure why people are so obsessed with things ending. Yeah. You know, yeah. people, people talk about endings all the time. When you see, when people see a movie, they want to reveal the ending to you. Oh yeah. 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 Why are people so obsessed with endings? A uh, spoiler alert, the planets and it's, Fifth extinction? Humans. Humans. Yes, the final extinction the event. The final extinction. So does that mean even the Field Museum in Chicago yeah. is predicting the end of the world? Yeah. Why does everyone want to predict the end of the world? I'm not exactly sure why anyone would want that. That means we're all dead. Right, everybody. At the same time. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just like boom, bam. Yeah. Yeah. Is that fun? No. It's we're all on this roller coaster together. So fear. we're all spinning around the solar system yeah. together. Like I don't understand why people are like, we're gonna die. Like why would you say that? Yeah. Why would you say that? Like now, even if you know. Like if you're on a plane and it loses engine power, somebody might scream out, We're all gonna die. Sure. But if the earth goes between the moon and the sun and we lose sight of the moon for a second, is that we're all gonna die? No, I feel like those are people that don't believe in science. Oh. If science says the world's over, then maybe you can believe it. But if it's just like someone had a dream that the end of the world was happening, mm, yeah, I don't know. I think what you're describing is the difference between science and religion. Oh, that sounds something <laughs> yeah. similar to what I said. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. People get wrapped up in in the spirituality of the moment. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Their feelings. Yeah. Like what? Uh, what's your star sign? Um, I'm a Libra. You're a Libra. Yeah. OK, so what's that make you? Um, balanced. Oh, you're balanced. Or when I'm not balanced, I'm like not balanced. <laughs> we are like, whoop, the scale has tipped. And then we're like, oh, we're feeling good for two weeks. And mm -hmm. then we tip the other way. Right. Yeah. And so you believe in science. I believe in scales. <laughs> scales. There's a right and a wrong. It's all blended together. Uh, okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So when it comes to spirituality versus uh, science, yeah. where, where are you at? Are, is that a scale? Do those do those go back and forth? I think it's. I think it does. Yeah. Yeah, I think it totally does. Okay. How do so I the, feel today? So they're sciency or spiritual? Okay, so they're in, they're they're in opposition to each other. So that's the problem with these statements is because they can be interpreted in many different ways. Mm -hmm. Philosophies, you know, like an astrologer that was the best astrologer in their day, but they've been dead for 40 years and then they say the key to the world is in Russia right like okay what does that mean you know that could mean so many different things we're interpreting it's it's just like Nostradamus yes people love to think oh Nostradamus yes. predicted all of this yes. Nostradamus predicted what? Hitler uh, but like no, what Nostradamus said was something like in the eye of the tiger, he beheld his conquered state. Like, that's what, like, right. people interpret that as to be like, oh, that was Hitler's rise to power. Yeah. What are you talking what about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? How did you get there from there? And the thing about those, like, prophets, where I remember them is checking out of the grocery store and seeing the scandal sheets. Right. I'm like, sure. there's scandal sheets. But I mean, even the Bible predicts the end of the world. You know, everybody wants to predict well, the end of the world. What did the Bible say well the bible has revelations okay about what well it, it the uh when when all the christians get to like get extracted and all of us are left behind well, on this what rock are you talking about that's in the bible who's yeah. taking them away the aliens no what's it called that's why people believe in aliens what's it called the like all the christians get to be called back to heaven or whatever what, so you're telling me that all the christians in the bible get star tracked you know to heaven like right. they they yeah. get teleported I just can't do it, Captain. Beam me up, Jesus. <laughs> Beam me up, Jesus. Beam me up, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's what they all said. Yeah. What? What is happening? Why does everybody want to predict the end of the world? Because they made themselves poopy lives. What What benefit does that get when, uh, when you know, a cult leader says, oh, the end of the world is coming? Do people donate more money? Oh, the yes. stars are in alignment. Obviously, the cosmos is, you know, decreeing that the heavens are opening up and our souls will finally be fulfilled. Like, what is this? This is nothing. I just think they have too much time on their hands. <laughs> You have way too much time on your hands if you're contemplating this. You know, there are things to be done. Yeah, we got, we got work to do. We have work to do. Yeah, come on, let's feed the homeless. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, let's, that, let's come on, the habitats for humanity have to be built. You can do so many wonderful things for the world not to end. 
Yeah. Yeah. Let's help the world not end. Not end. Yeah. That's yeah. A, that's a good goal to have. That's a great goal. Let's let's stop bombing each other. Let's feed everybody. Yeah. Let's start feeding each other instead of bombing each let's other. I like that. Let's tax the wealthy. Okay. We could do, we could do that. I mean, maybe all the wealthy can yeah give all their money back, or we just take it through taxes. That's right. And then we can distribute that money, you know, yeah. and make sure people are fed and people are housed. Yeah. And the corporations can say we love the planet too. Okay. You the, know what wait, I mean? Now you've now you've gone into imagination. Too far. Land. The world world's ending. The, the world is ending. Corporations say, let me give back to society. Ah, the world is the crumbling. World's ending. It'll never happen. They're this lying. is the seventh sign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, doomsday. People are really <laughs> obsessed with doomsday. Yeah. Do you think it's the movies? Did the movies give us these ideas? Well, I mean, the, you know, the, the end is nigh has been a slogan that's been around since long before the movies. Well, there's came. a lot of stakes. What's that? You know, when you're writing a story and you got to raise the stakes. You got to raise the stakes. So the world has to end in I mean, a lot of things. You know, that's like, the ultimate stake that you yeah, can right. make. <laughs> yeah. So like the, the the stakes are if the hero doesn't win, the world ends. The right? world so ends. That's, that's as high as you can make the stakes. So all the movies are based on that. That's right. I mean, you know, yeah. Marvel's very popular. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> if they don't stop Thanos, like half of the galaxy dies. Yeah. I mean, when that yeah. movie came out, I said, well, where are you guys going to go from there? <laughs> that, that universe was like a multiverse and like, yeah, yeah, a lot like, going on, a lot going there's on, spaceships, there's <laughs> everything. It's like, all right, so half the universe dies. Uh, uh, let me comprehend what's happening here. People disappear and then they come back. I mean, we it makes a yet. good story. Right. It made a you know? goal we all wanted made to Made a know. good story. It's just like religion, you know? You start with a virgin birth. You got water into wine. <laughs> Everyone this wants This is a that. great story. Yeah. How are we going to end this story? Well, it's got to end with the world ending, With the world right? ending. I mean, the world's got to explode now. What was the point of writing the book if we're not going to hook them at the end? Yeah. Yeah. I am Iron Man. <laughs> so that makes a good story. Well, it so makes if, a yeah, good story. Yeah, if somebody's story. trying to make a name for themselves, they're like, ah, oh, guys. The world's about to end. Well, that's the thing about cult leaders. Yeah. Is that they are very energetic. They're very pragmatic. Okay. They hook you in with stories. Oh. They're like storytellers. And then they hook you in and then you're like, oh my gosh, I am a part of a cult. It, I'm stuck. I think you just described yourself. No. You know, I thought that. Yeah. I th as I was saying it, You're I was energetic, like, wow. charismatic. You tell good stories. I do. You hook them in. I do. I hook people in. Tell me, leader, when the end of the world is. <laughs> It's at five. Are five o'clock? Yeah. Wait, don't you have to work today at five o'clock? That's right. We're all going to die. I guess I don't have to go to work today. we don't have to commute. Let's get drunk. <laughs> don't bother getting on the subway. <laughs> it's fascinating to me that, that they're so obsessed with the doomsday that they fail to recognize the doom that's happening in front of them. Right. You know, like I had someone that would be like, well, I have to have gallons of water just in case there's a blackout. Right. And I have to yeah. explain. The blackout that's always on the horizon. Well, yeah. I have to explain to this person. There's going to be an economic reset, you know. <laughs> well, I had to explain to this person multiple times that the blackout could have happened already. Right. And it was called the pandemic where we had to stay inside for months. Yeah. Months. Yeah. If you want to believe in a conspiracy, <laughs> yeah. why don't you just point to one of the ones that actually happened? Right. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. There was a pandemic that was exacerbated by the choices of our government. Like exactly. there's, there's boom. boom, boom. There's your blackout. Right. It's here. You know? We made it. We Everybody made it here. was furloughed from their job and yeah. had to work from home. There's your economic reset right, right there. It's right Why there. Why are you searching for more? Why are you looking for the outside? Just when look around and you can see, see the it. end of the world. You know, right. like there's more hurricanes and more forest fires. Like the end of the world is here. It's called global warming. Yeah. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. It, I'm sorry it's slower moving right. than a solar eclipse. Right. But like right. it's here. Yeah. The end of the world is nigh. It's nigh. And yet we keep going. Yet here we are. We just continue to go to work, <laughs> pay our taxes, bomb Palestine. <laughs> we just continue. We just keep moving the forward. The world trudges forward. Yeah. Regardless of the fact that the end is here. It's here, but the sun rises and the sun sets. That's right. You know what? 
if the end is here, let's do it doing what we cherish most. Yeah. Going to work and <laughs> earning money for our corporate overlords. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because <laughs> that's the end of the world. No, 100%. I mean, don't look up. No spoilers, but I may spoil something. So, oh, Well, that's all right. We already said how that movie and all other movies end. Yeah, right. It's the end, it's of, the end the of the world. Right. Okay. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I think if the world were going to end, that's the way to go. Where you're just like sitting and you're just eating dinner. Are you trying to lure me in with your charismatic story? Oh, do you want to come to are my you... New Year's Eve party where we drink special liquid and we'll go into the Never Never Everland? That sounds great. I mean, the Never Never Everland is a really special place where you can have your own planet. And, and we all get to a... go together to at go the together. exact same time. Yeah. Well, because the Earth is flat, the how how the doomsday is going to happen this time is it's going to become a sphere pop where it's gonna pop Boop. up yeah you know it's, the ener the energy gods are gonna pull a string and we're gonna pop Boop. up and all of us are gonna be launched yeah. off the face of the That's earth right. <laughs> we we're gonna be launched into space this has been an episode of Grumble Goat. Thanks for listening. I'm Matt Labotka. I'm Veronique Hurley. Please subscribe. I hate when people say please subscribe. Grumble, grumble, grumble. All the Christians in the Bible get star tracked. We did it. We've conquered another one of life's little annoyances. But the truth is, what I really hate is commercials. And I'll wager you do too. And that's why Grumble Goat is proudly commercial free. But to keep it that way, it takes the support of fellow grumblers like you. If you hate commercials, head on over to our Patreon page and see if becoming a grumble kid is right for you. And as always, don't forget to grumble goat responsibly and share with a friend. Grumble, 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 grumble. Pa, 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 pa.